Hey, 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 long time no see. I know it's been so long since I last uploaded my last video, but I wanted to come on here and do a quick like review slash first impressions on this wave hair waver by Bedhead. I had gotten this from the Ulta Gorgeous Hair event. It was like 50% off. And I really wanted to get a wave like a hair waver instead of using like the curling iron because I am not super skilled with the curling iron anyways in the first place. And I really wanted to try like a waver because I've seen so many people like do do the style and it looks so good, especially for summer. So, anyways, I have been saving to do this video on here for the longest time. I really wanted to do like a first impressions, but I already plugged it in. Um, it goes up to 410. I don't know if you can see it right there, but yeah, it goes up to 410 degrees, but I had it on 410, but I feel like that's super, super hot. So I went down to 380 and it's really hot. So you gotta be careful. What's really cool is there's this little hold stand like a little stand right there so you can place it on there and it's not gonna like melt your <laughs> melt your table or anything like that but i do have like a heat protector pad thing that i put it on also but yeah that's what it looks like and then it's got the three i want to say this is like a hmm, like a one inch barrel if you can see right here i'll have to like double check it though but yeah and that's what it looks like it's got the clips there um and then yeah it actually took it didn't take too long to heat up anyways let's just go ahead and just get this whole thing started so first off i'm going to take this clip off of my hair <laughs> my hair is probably on like day two right now here so i'm gonna do a little dry shampoo we're gonna comb it through just grab a my big brush and then just comb it through just gonna prep my hair really quickly and I'm gonna do a little dry shampoo so start off here we still have like my little travel one so we actually just came back from Hawaii not a couple weeks ago which is why I'm in like super MIA I was actually debating if I was gonna do a Hawaii vlog but I really just wanted to like chill and relax because it was like our first vacation since COVID and I didn't want to like stress out too much about worrying you know what I mean about like videos and stuff like that so that's why probably why I haven't put up anything from that but anyways let's do dry shampoo just to add some volume to the roots um the one that i'm using is by chlorine it's the chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk so this is my hair i have not like styled it or anything like that in the last two days um so this is what it looks like i've just been having my hair up and out of the way so i think a lot of people like to do it like right down the middle but i'm not like uh i'm not that middle part type of person i don't know like i can't i don't know i just i like where my natural part is at right here because when i do it like this my hair just looks weird i don't know i just it just doesn't look right but anyway so yeah i'm just gonna part it where my hair naturally parts and then we're just gonna work with it right there so anyways do that so I did the dry shampoo and then now I'm going to do a little heat styling prep. So this is the um, Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. It's a spray, so I just spray all over the hair. I actually got this as like a birthday gift um, from Ulta. Anyways, yeah, so it's like a heat protector. I'm just gonna spray it all over okay all right so now i'm going to part my hair so we're just gonna part it down the middle grab the clip just gonna start at the bottom first all right 
Okay, so now we're gonna start. All right, so I've been watching videos on how to like wave, like do the do the wave with these types of um, tool hair tools, and yeah, we're just gonna see this whole first immersion. <laughs> this is literally gonna be like first timer. So we're gonna do the first. Hold it there. <laughs> ah, look at that. Here and then here. So I'm just kind of like going with the wave. My hair is like pretty long too. So we're just gonna follow the wave as it goes down. I'm just gonna leave it. And then we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave that. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it looks, you guys. And I'm just gonna leave it alone. We're gonna do the next. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of the hair and then uh, we'll, we're just gonna fast forward this. This is what it looks like. I have not combed it out yet. Um, I'm just kind of letting it cool a little bit, but yeah. <gasps> this is kind of cool. I've never had my hair like this before. I'm just kind of scoping around, making sure I didn't miss any piece, which looks like it looks pretty good. <laughs> um, probably have to finish this guy right here. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use like a little wide tooth comb. There you go. I'm going to use a wide tooth comb like this and we're just going to start to brush it out and see how it looks. It kind of looks like, um, you know, when you French braid your hair and then you let out the braid like overnight, like hula hair. If you're from Hawaii or if you like do the hula. You guys, this is literally hula hair. <laughs> uh, okay, not sure about this guy over here. This is what happens when you have like curtain bangs. I don't know what to do with the curtain bangs. We gotta, we gotta figure that out. Okay, you guys, I have an idea because this, I am not feeling this. And then my bangs, I am not feeling this right here, just kind of like floating around. So I'm going to grab just the top portion, just grab a little bit of hair and then I'm just going to grab it up to the crown, like the crown of my head, which is up here. And I'm just going to put it up. <laughs> okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to grab a little rubber band. Hi, this is actually these rubber bands I love because they're um they're super durable. They're not like those like really cheapy cheapy ones, elastic elastic ties, that's what it's called. Um they're not like the cheapy ones, they are super durable. I love it for Leia's hair, even though her hair is like super fine. Leia is like my youngest daughter, if you <laughs> um uh, have been following along with me. So yeah, we'll just tie it there and then just give it a little oomph on the top. Um, there we go. See, that looks so much better. <laughs> okay, I think now, okay, now I'm like digging it. It looks so much better. All right, we're gonna just hairspray it down a little bit. 
this one uh, is kind of this one's old this is by l'oreal it's their El Nat hairspray it's like their stronghold i love it because it smells good and it doesn't give like that like super flaky that flaky look oh hi Lay. <laughs> i'm okay. trying to be a spy you are <laughs> oh my god i'm loving this okay uh probably gonna put a little bit of hair oil which i always do <laughs> can i finish this video please no come on no <laughs> hold on one second <laughs> okay she's gone but anyways i wanted to put a little bit of oil i always do this even when i curl my hair this is the way i love this the way rose hair body oil they have just like the plain one that doesn't have the rose scent too but i love the rose so i just put a pump and then i always just kind of scrunch it into my hair when it's curled it gives it that shine and that like pc almost like that PC look too, which I love when I curl my hair. It just brings the moisture back into my hair too. Oh my God, you guys, I'm obsessed with this. I think I'm gonna do this to my hair for like Halloween. I really wanna do a like Raya. It kind of reminds me of Raya and the Last Dragon. If you guys watch that movie from Disney. Oh, I lo we love that movie. So I'll put that there and then I'm gonna grab this uh, uh, dry bar triple sec. Oh no, here she comes again. <laughs> um, triple sec and we're just gonna spray Leia. Leia, you gotta, you gotta move baby because mommy's spraying. Can you move please? So this one gives um, some extra like volume to the hair. guys this is the final look i am obsessed with this oh my god it looks so good so some th some key things that i've learned um from doing this this is my first time <laughs> trying to do like this wave style hair using this type of tool so some things that i've learned using this is you can it does slide down your hair really easily and in order to get that really good uh, curl you have to keep it still <laughs> and i kept it on there for like 10 seconds just to kind of make sure it gets that nice uh wave but yeah like 10 hold it for 10 seconds and then i kind of go down and i find it super easy when you follow into the next like wave and then another thing i'm probably gonna have to get used to is how to like if i had my hair down i need to figure out how to like really style it when it's down which is why i had to like put it up like this because i did not like how it looked when it was down because it just looked kind of it looked kind of messy and it just it just looks sloppy especially with my little bangs like the long front bangs that i have here it just didn't look it didn't look right so that's why i had put it up but i love it like this it looks really good like this it can and it gives like my hair some like extra volume too but yeah i'll link everything down below i'll even link all like my makeup deets and everything like that too down below but yeah i hope you guys like this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>